Welcome to our Prince Edward Island adventure. From August 27th to September 12th, 2023, we traveled to and from PEI and explored the beautiful island province. This is part one of our three-part PEI video series. We're Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season five of our park reviews. We hope this helps you in deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Now let's go camping with the Coles. Now we only get one life, I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Heading out on our big trip to PEI, our first stop is going to be in Quebec at uh, Camping des Voltigeurs. It's in Drummondville, Quebec, and it is uh, 750 kilometers from home. And yes, I know, I know, we're breaking our own rule again. This was already booked before we had our Texas troubles. Yeah, and so our, we suggest staying under 600 kilometers per day in travel. We're doing 750 today, uh, so it's going to be a long drive. Uh, we're doing the 401 right through Ontario, which is luck. We're going to be going through Toronto, but it is Sunday morning. It's Sunday, August 27th, and uh, hopefully Sunday morning in Toronto isn't too bad. But it's always fingers bad. Crossed. But yeah, fingers crossed. was Toronto. This is why we hate driving this way. This is so even, painful. Even on a Sunday, bumper to bumper traffic. So uh, hopefully the uh, next big congestion doesn't happen until we get to Montreal because we do have to get around Montreal too. And that's coming up. This is us, site number 219 at Camping des Voltiers. It's a very small site in a row of sites. There's no privacy at all. You see everybody from here and you can easily hear Highway 20. Comes with a picnic table and a fire pit and a neat little grill that swings out over the fire pit. And we have water and electric. Our first night was at Camping des Voltigeurs near Drummondville, Quebec on the banks of the St. Francois River. It has 119 three-service sites, including 50 seasonal sites, 84 two-service sites, 56 one-service sites, 21 no-service sites, and 14 ready-to-camp tent sites. Other amenities include a comfort station with flush toilets, showers, and laundry facilities, an outdoor heated swimming pool, several playgrounds, soccer field, basketball, and volleyball. There is a giant chess game next to the park store. The park store offers park merchandise, food items, wood, and ice. There is a 4.5 kilometer paved bicycle path to Drummondville. Bike rentals are available. Coming along with us on this PEI trip are our friends Kelly and Jamie. You've seen them in a couple of videos before. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been to PEI before, so several times before. So hopefully they'll help us uh, be a little more organized and see the best of what this island has to offer. They'll be wonderful to our guides. Thanks for helping us out, guys. You're very welcome. We're excited to be camping with the Coles. Yay! This is going to be fun. <laughs> Stay tuned. What you doing, Cheryl? 
we're organizing all our um, day trips on PEI. We're Going PEI. old school with the paper map. All the oh, places yes. to see. All the places and things to do, things to see. Things we are on our way to Mactaquac. Mac I like that name. I'm Mactaquac. sure I'm butchering the name. But it's Mactaquac Provincial Park I in like New it. Brunswick. Mactaquac. Mactaquac. <laughs> so we just left uh, uh, Camping de Voltageur in Quebec. We have about 700 kilometers to go. Another long day, minus yep. 50. And that's hopefully, we, well, we won't have another long day uh, <laughs> going to PEI. It'll be a much shorter drive the next day. We are at the Covered Bridge Potato Chip Factory in Waterville, New Brunswick. For $5, you can have a self-guided tour and get a free bag of chips and you can season it to your liking. Let's check it out. So you get to try any seasoning you want. You put them on your potato chips, you can mix them all up. And then you're gonna try the lobster to start off with. French vanilla cappuccino. Bubble gum. All dressed. Come back to the bottom there. Try the all dressed. Salt, vinegar, oh yeah. You're gonna try the sea salt and vinegar. All dressed. Spaghetti, right? Mm. Oh, <laughs> sea salt and vinegar, that's the one.
This is us, Site 383 at Mactaquac Provincial Park in New Brunswick. It's a pull-through site with only electric service, no water or sewage. Uh, it's a little bit muddy around here. Looks like it rained recently. This, the site is level enough that we're able to stay hooked up so that we don't have to unhook and uh, spend that time fiddling around now and in the morning. So it should be a quick getaway in the morning so we can be off to PEI. Our second night we spent at Mactaquac Provincial Park near Fredericton, New Brunswick along the St. John River. It has approximately 260 electric campsites and 68 non-electric campsites as well as several group campsites. It also has several cabins and chalets. Other amenities include an 18-hole golf course, comfort stations with flush toilets, showers, and laundry facilities, playgrounds, basketball, BMX track, beach, and 10 hiking trails ranging from 700 meters to 2.5 kilometers. We have just left Mactapac. No, Mactaquac. We have just left Mactaquac. Provincial Park in New Brunswick. It, and today is our last drive day to get to our destination, which is Cedar Dunes Provincial Park, PEI. Yes. So today, we, yeah, we only have about 400 kilometers to go today. So that's a short day for us. Half the amount. So we'll see you there. See you there. crossed the 12.9 kilometer Confederation Bridge over the Northumberland Strait entering Prince Edward Island from New Brunswick. The Confederation Bridge is the longest bridge in the world crossing ice-covered water. As soon as you cross Confederation Bridge into PEI, you can take the uh, first right and go into a cute little village made up of touristy type stores and things like that. We're going to check it out now. And this is us, campsite number 17 at Cedar Dunes Provincial Park. We've got a nice sight. We can hear the ocean. We can see the ocean. So we're happy. We reached our destination of PEI at our first campground, Cedar Dunes Provincial Park. Cedar Dunes is at West Point on the saltwater beach at the North Humberland Strait. It has 23 service sites, 46 two service sites, and 11 sites with no service. It has two comfort stations with flush toilets and showers, and one of them has laundry facilities. There's a playground, volleyball, dump station, and free Wi-Fi. There is a supervised beach, and right next to that is the tallest lighthouse on PEI. So this is Lighthouse Willies. It's in West Point, and it's just outside of the park. They have seafood fresh from the docks. After setting up and grabbing a bite to eat, it was time to relax and rest up for the big days ahead.
So what's better to do on a rainy day than hit up the old potato museum in O'Leary? What are we gonna have for lunch here? Potatoes. I got the uh, potato skins, the loaded potato skins with potato chips. They come with potato chips. I got the loaded potato. It comes with uh, peppers and bacon and sour cream and the chips on the side. It's a got the large chili on fries. Wow. Ooh. That's a big bowl of fries. So on this rainy day, we decided to check out a Kaylee. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, P.E.I. Kaylee, which is a social gathering, a traditional music, dance, and stories of P.E.I. It was a great time, fun had by all. Come and check it out. <laughs> house behind me is the birthplace of Lucy Maud Montgomery. She's the author of the Anne of Green Gables books. Now Cheryl and I have never read an Anne of Green Gables book or seen the TV shows or movies or anything so we know nothing about this stuff. So if you're looking to our PEI video to learn all about Anne of Green Gables, sorry you've come to the wrong place because it's just not something we know too much about so we're not spending a lot of time going to uh, all of the Green Gables locations. This is just a short glimpse. And so are you. So am I. See the sunrise at the break of day. I like getting up in the morning, working for my day. But you know what I like more than anything is to get the fiddle in my head. Now that's a big beaver tails.
set of stairs is steeper, the steepest, and at an angle. lighthouse right now. It is the tallest lighthouse on PEI. Yes. It is what, 47 feet 8 inches? No. 80, 67 feet, hang on, let me see. 67 feet. Yeah, 67, 67 feet, feet 8, eight inches. inches. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Bye -bye. Uh, behind us here is our campground. So we can see this lighthouse from our campground. It's a beautiful view from up here. We're watching the seals in the water. Uh, there's a couple of them playing in the water. They're pretty far away, so it's really hard to get on camera. This is North Cape. It's the northernmost point on Prince Edward Island and it is beautiful here. You probably can't see them, but you can see seals playing in the water out there. Stomp and Tom Center in Skinner's Pond, PEI. We're here to enjoy the dinner theater. Come join us. We spent three days using Cedar Dunes Provincial Park on the west coast of PEI as our base of operations. We decided to head to the north coast of the island to Cabot Beach Provincial Park, then to the east coast to Brudenell Provincial Park for the next leg of our trip. That will be part two in this three-part PEI video series. Here's what's coming up. I'm not afraid to
passed away, leaving her a good inheritance. Greenwich Dunes National Park. It's awesome. <laughs> I do not feel good about this. <laughs>